Hey, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of poor performances during the weekend. Upsets all over the place. We know round one can be a bit fluky from time to time. Lots of reviews. The reviews are already in. Yeah, they, well, Did they you see Damien Hardwick. He, he he reviewed Richmond's first hit out. Have a listen. Might grab Dimmer on his way. Can you grab you for one sec, Dimmer? Yes, mate. Uh, out of ten, how would you describe that? Four. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't the Probably went on a bit long, that one. Yeah, yeah, right. We got there eventually. Well, they'll need to be better than that tomorrow night because oh, I yeah. put together that about? Richmond will need to be better than that tomorrow night. They'll need to produce more than four to get over the top of tomorrow night's opponent. I mean, it, oh, it's actually, it's quite an important point we should discuss here. Mm. We haven't done... Are you taking any responsibility at all for what happened to Damien Hardwick's time, the team, the, the side that you claim to support in last I year's preliminary final? Why no, would no, I no. do that? Mate... Hey, they, they got us on a good some, night, mate. They, they, they played, it was a good team effort. They rolled us on the night, and we'll, we'll sort it out tomorrow. It's borderline defamatory what you said about Mason Cox last year. You haven't truly addressed this. Uh, I believe Collingwood used some of your commentary on this very Talking show there, to yeah. fire up Mason Cox in last year's You'd like to refresh my memory. I'd, oh, idea what I'd be happy to refresh your memory and everyone's memory about what you said about Mason Cox in the lead-up to the preliminary final last year. <laughs> This could be the biggest game Mason Cox never gets a kick in. The arms of Trelaw. Cox is the biggest man there. Cox again and Cox again. Oh, this game. Jury's out. That could have gone on. <laughs> you may have thought that, that that game may have passed in the annals of time. Well, well, it hasn't. It hasn't. That's there for everybody to see forever. Mark Knight, one of football's great caricature artists, has enshrined that moment forever uh, in football art history. Uh, that is here to stay once and for all. I mean, are you finally... Are you going to apologise to Mason Cox? Are you going to apologise to Richmond? Are you going to take some responsibility for what happened in that preliminary final last year? Are you ever going to finish? No. <laughs> No. What? No. What? You should. You should. I remain defiant. I remain defiant. And in fact, I'm so incensed by it, I'm going to say Mason Cox is under the pump. Get that out of He's under the pump. He's not under the pump. Give, give me a camera. Which is my camera? This one over here? I'm going to... Hey, Mason Cox. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Don't get your parents to come out to watch this game. Divert the plane to Venezuela where they'll have a better time. There's going to be carnage out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Alex Rance on one leg could beat you, Mason Cox. <laughs> well, I'm sure that won't come back to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He does. He's lost his mind. Hey, it's a good game. You've lost your mind, and I reckon, I reckon that he doesn't know what he's doing because they've got Collingwood on the rebound. They'll be disappointed with what happened last week uh, at Geelong. They will be. They didn't yes. play well last Let week. Let themselves down they last did. week. Con- Collingwood uh, were brave in defeat against Geelong, and it's a, it's a close knit um, team down there. Mm. As as we saw in the rooms afterwards, when Adam Trelaw, uh, obviously a bit disappointed after the yep. loss, but he was there. Beautiful scenes of him being consoled. Things are different in the rooms these days, Richo. Did you ever have a girlfriend or a partner in the rooms post-match win a loss? Oh, this is great now. Get all your family and friends in there and enjoy their company. Yeah, get all your family and friends. I hope... I hope that's not family. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I saw, I saw Gil doing the exact same thing to Chris Hemsworth <laughs> after the game. Oh, yeah. It was quite hard to watch. I, I like, no, I, I think you should take pride in your performance. Really? Yeah. And if Thanks, you can I just say that nothing makes me sicker than young, good-looking people in love? <laughs> Mate, you can tell they're not married. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, that Collingwood membership gets you access to all areas, doesn't it? I'll tell you, sign up for one of those. We we had a bad show last week, didn't we? Yeah, it wasn't good. We had a bad show. And, of course, you needed to be consoled. I was flat last week. I wasn't at the Afterwards, yes. and I mean, you know, it seems like these aren't unusual That's after. That That was family. <laughs> Hey, we're going to get a break out of the way. Let's do it. Hopefully tonight will be better. Uh, AFLW Grand Final. Matthew Scarlett, not too far away. Can't the wait. AFLW Grand Final over at the Adelaide Oval on Sunday. One of the great ambassadors for the women's game is Sam Wayne. She's going to talk about the Grand Final. Yeah. It's on the other side of this. Powerful man.